Hello everybody and welcome back to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me for another bite sized getting started on The Sims 4 video. In this one we are visiting with Jonah who is sleeping and getting ready to wake up and go to his first day at work. Rise and shine. Your Sim should prepare for their first day of work. Click on the shower so your Sim can clean up and fix the hygiene need. Co-workers don't like stinky Sims. No, they don't. Nobody likes stinky anybody. Notice that he has a blur, so you can watch them shower without Click any... Click on the toilet to fix your Sims' bladder need. We promise we won't look... Without any uh, stuff you don't want to see. Let's just leave it at that. We'll click on that, let him use the toilet when he's done with his shower. And we talked about needs in our last video. Coffee is video. delicious and good for an energy boost. Click on the coffee maker to brew a cup. And you can see that going to the bathroom gets him in the green. And going to work in the green is going to make him a more successful, have, make him have a more successful day. Definitely the better their mood is, the better they're going to be as an employee. Which is really the truth for all of us, isn't it? So we had to empty the coffee maker, and now we're going to brew coffee. And you notice that cost us eight simoleons. So everything you do costs a little bit of money. He's working toward his trends for the, or his, uh, his aspirations for the day. So the next one will be going to work. And then he'll want to come home and socialize with Alex, who is still sleeping, by the way. Huh. Sure. And he's liking that coffee. We're going to have him go ahead and clean up this mess so that nobody in the house eats fermented food. That green smoke that's coming out of the food means it's spoiled. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I'm thinking I wouldn't want to eat it. It looks like raw meat and blood. <laughs> so there, and he's enjoying his coffee quite so much. <laughs> Oh, I was wondering where he was going with that. More coffee. Now, he has to leave for work in a half an hour, which means I probably won't have time to let him eat, but let's try. I'm going to tell him to have some oatmeal. His hunger is not very high, so he's probably going to be okay if he doesn't eat. Oh, girl, careful with that knife. Yibs. Oh, he's just gonna have coffee. He's he does not want oatmeal. Okay, I feel you. I'm okay with that. So it's nine o'clock. It's time for work. Sims will always go to work on their own, assuming you don't prevent them from doing so. Your sim is at work, but you can take control of Alex by clicking on her portrait. Have fun. You can't really do anything wrong. Before I do that, I do want to talk about Jonah's portrait. So you can see that he is at work. I can, in normal live mode, you can actually click on the, the work icon and call him back from work if you need him to come home early. There are ramifications, though. Just be aware of that. We'll cover that in a future video. But for right now, let's go ahead and click on Alex as a tutorial request. We'll leave you alone for a while and let you play. Tell Alex to read, clean up, or just relax or watch what Alex chooses to do. Sims think for themselves and pursue their own agenda if you let them. They definitely do. So we're gonna have her go ahead and clean up her plate. And then I think we should have her paint. So we'll do a large painting and we'll take a look at her aspirations. So she wants to be a mansion baron, which means she wants to own really, really expensive uh, land or real estate that's the word i'm looking for and she is thrifty that would be the reward trait she would get so she would get a 10 percent rebate on all build mode purchases made each week that's good i'm glad to know that she wants to own a home worth at least fifty thousand simoleons however right now she's only at thirty nine thousand, and she needs to own 15 pieces of art and right now she has two out of the 15. so that is her first part of her aspirations Let's see if she has a job she does not have a job she has nothing in her inventory 
She is a glutton. She is lazy. She is materialistic and she has business savvy. She is also a young adult and she will become her next age. Oh, normally it will tell you here. It must not be telling me because we're in the tutorial. They must cover that later. I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't, haven't played the tutorial before. So, and we can look at her genealogy. She is the first of her line. And the sim stats is very interesting. This is something you don't need to really use, but if you want to kind of see what they've done in their life, you can come click here and everything she does will be kind of tagged and you can see that she's been uncomfortable four times. She has been happy three times and energized twice and just more information like that. It's just kind of a fun way to see the history of your sim. So just kind of play around with that as you go through your game. Oh, and look at what she painted. That's actually not a bad painting there. They say it's a quality pour, but it's better than the stick figure I can do. So we can grab it and we can put it on the wall, which is what I'll do. We can also put it in our inventory and we can sell it. So it's only worth $76, so we might as well keep it, right? And let's see, I don't know if that will affect her aspiration, but it did. It brought her up to three. So if she wants to make more art, that would actually help her in what she needs to do. Now, each art that she's doing, she has to pay for. So it's gonna come out of her income over here. So she can sell it though and make back that money. Or I should not say income, but her bank account basically. And now she did that painting, which is also a poor quality painting. And we can find a wall for it to go on. And now we, she has four out of 15. And this is also a very good way to get your sim to make some money. As they progress in their painting skill, they can uh, sell their paintings for higher and higher amounts and move forward. It's almost time for Jonah to get home from work. Let's see how much money he brings in today. We'll slow down time here. It's not quite that slow. We want him to come home. Your Sim is home from work, a little tired, but with more money in the pocket. Now is a good time to prepare dinner by clicking on the fridge, have a conversation, or relax with a little TV. So you can see that Jonah brought home 144 simoleons today. He did some superb work too, Sup superb. Sorry, I said that totally wrong. But now you'll see he has moved from this performance in the middle to good, and that is partly because we did the discuss outfits task with her yesterday. So we can do that here. We can make introductions to other Sims that are walking around the neighborhood as well. So we're gonna make an introduction here so we can talk about fashion and then we'll send him inside. Now, I wanna look at his needs cause he came home from work. So he's just like the rest of us. He didn't have a whole lot of fun. He's a little hungry, a little tired. But now that he's talked to this guy, he now has a relationship with him of some sort. So now we can discuss fashion with him. All right, so that, that gentleman did not really want to have much of a conversation with Jonah, but it was enough to get us halfway through our daily task. We can come in here. Let's just get that out of the way, and we'll talk to Alex about it. Then we'll cook some dinner. I think we'll make ourselves a grilled cheese sandwich. Let's actually do it family size so that Alex can eat. She's been feeding us. All right, so after talking to Alex, we now have completed our task for tomorrow's day at work. So that means tomorrow will probably be a great day as well. He's eating dinner or getting ready to eat dinner. Now, because he made a family platter, he, we can click on that and we can just grab a serving, we can clean it up or we can put it away. I'm gonna put it away and that way he'll have it in the refrigerator left over. And Alex can come and grab some, he can come and grab it. 
and Hush should put it away as soon as he's done eating. <laughs> All right, it's eight o'clock, so it's later than his bedtime. He does. He is tired, so it's almost time for him to go to bed. But he has his own free will, so he's just kind of seeing what he wants to do, and I think he's going to go to bed. He's going to go in Alex's bed. He went over here, and she was in her his bed, so he was like, hmm, I think I'll go to the other open bed. Now, you noticed, or maybe you didn't, but if you rewind a little bit, you'll notice that the time when they were both asleep goes to light speed, and that's so you don't have to twiddle your thumbs while your sims are all sleeping. So if everybody in the household is in bed asleep, you're gravy. If not, uh, you can just speed it up by hitting the speed controls, like I'm going to do now. It is another morning, and we've woken up to a bladder that needs taken care of. So go use the toilet. We have some fun needs that need to be met and a hunger that needs to be quenched. So we're going to do that, and we have to do all of that before 9 o'clock when our friend goes back to work for the day. So let's tell Jonah to go ahead and have breakfast. We're going to do oatmeal, see if he'll grab that this time. And then fun, we could do some really fun things like dance or play video games if you have them or watch TV to fill that up. Alright, I've tried to get Jonah to watch TV before work, but apparently he doesn't want to see the news any more than I do. So we're going to go to work without our fun filled, and we're going to go to work dirty. So we'll see how that affects our work day. <laughs> Welcome home. Your sim is working steadily towards a promotion. Completing the daily tasks and promotion tasks are critical for career success. Click the briefcase button near the bottom of the screen to learn more about your career. All right, since Jonah's Your sim home. needs to improve a skill in order to earn a promotion. Skills grant Sims new options in their activities and generally more favorable outcomes. Sims with lower skills might mess up more often. Look at your Sims career panel to learn the skill you should improve right now. All right, Jonah is home from work. We see that he made 144 simoleons today. He is up at the top of his career performance, which is great. And right now he needs to go to work in a positive emotion or with positive emotion, complete his daily task, maintain high relationship with his coworkers, which we really don't have any control over the high relationship part. Uh, I wanna talk about also the fact that he still has to discuss outfits or fashion, so the same thing that we've been doing, but he came home really having a bad day, really having a bad day. So he is in the red on that. As soon as he's done in the shower, we need to get him happy. And he can do that by watching TV. So let's go ahead and tell him to channel surf when he gets out of the shower. And then we'll also have him discuss outfits with Alex. And already his fun level is rising. His social should kick in because he's going to be talking with Alex as well. Perfect. So we'll get him out of the red. You don't ever really want to see the red because if it gets too red in that panel, then your sim is not going to be very easy to relate to or control. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Let's watch his work. He's 50% done on that, so we need to get another option and it's not even going to tell us that we can which is a shame we need to just keep clicking maybe talk to her about a couple other things before it'll give us the option to discuss outfits oh and she's disappearing in here so oh it wants us to write an article so we're going to kick her off of the computer now that we're a little bit happier. Of course, stop watching TV right now. Let's kick Alex off the your computer. Your sim improved the skill. Click on the light bulb button to see your sim's progress with skills. So now he's got a writing skill to go along with his charisma and cooking that he was already working on. 
So he has free time until he completes all of his Sims aspiration, uh, all of his aspiration goals. Uh, we can follow that along here. So he just needs to socialize with Alex to complete that. We also need to discuss outfit again. So let's do that. We want to make sure work is successful tomorrow. So he can keep writing while he's talking to her, which is fantastic. He completed his goal for tomorrow, so yay. But not the socializing with Alex part. So we are going to do friendly, discuss interest, get to know, tell a funny story. We'll just, we'll just pile up a few there, and they can just have a nice dinner conversation while she's cooking. She hasn't gotten out of her pajamas the whole day. I feel her. Oh, and Jonah has learned that Alex is a glutton. Okay. Good to know, Alex. Thanks for sharing. Oh, wait. No, don't go to bed yet. First of all, he's dancing like he has to go to the bathroom. So going to the bathroom is probably a better option than going to bed. So we're going to cancel the bed, send him to the toilet. And we're going to send him out to eat because he's not really that tired yet. We can, we can get away with not sending him to bed just yet. He still needs to socialize with Alex. So he needs to recharge his social motive and chat with her. Hopefully that will happen during dinner. Discuss interest. We can ask about our day. They're having a very late dinner tonight. There we go. He has completed that milestone, his first day on the job. We got a new set of aspirations to work toward. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Of course, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. That lets YouTube know you'd like notifications when I post something new on the channel. That way you don't miss out on anything coming. And I have lots of great content coming down the line. And of course, if you have any suggestions for these bite-sized you learn to play sims 4 videos that i'm working on for you guys go ahead and leave those in the comments because i will try to incorporate them into future videos especially once we get through the entire tutorial and i'll see you guys again real soon have a great one